Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am uh, going to play chapter 2 of Sally Face. Um, if you guys don't remember in the last video, Sal was explaining to, a, I'm not sure if it was a therapy teacher or, um, but he was explaining to them that um, she moved into a new apartment, met some weird neighbors, and she found out about a killer, which um, later said that they were falsely accused. And um, apparently, she is um, they believe to convict her of murder. So, um, what can we continue? Uh, so this is where we left off last time. This is Sal before his face got um, messed up. We heard someone calling him. Don't want us so far, sweetie. I want to see the doggy, mommy. Can you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? Should be here any minute now. I really want to see it, please. Please, can I go get the doggy? Oh, alright, so uh, just give me a second for my purse and we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. She looks a lot different from uh, when we saw her dead at the beginning. <laughs> There's dog. <laughs> this part really confuses me. Like, I understand it's like kind of just a dream and a memory with his face being ripped off, but I'm wondering why the building, like the whole thing behind him looks destroyed. I'm just guessing it's my mom's purse, but I don't understand the color or this I'm just the skeleton of the dog. Uh, you know, I don't want to judge. I thought that was male. That light sticking out on the side, I thought that was male for a second. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to help out with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman usually would take care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. Why does it work? I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. Bathroom is just over here. Okay. Um. So, in my opinion, I feel like Sally and Larry have just, like some kind of connection. First, Larry uh, painted my dreams, and now it's like I'm him in the past. Like you have to be right on the. I forgot that the toilet swallows you up. Okay, I do guys. I, I want to show you guys one thing. Um, if you remember, in some games, uh, some people might put like Easter eggs. So if you look over down at the thing, there's a little septic eye. Uh, it's a East Day for Jack septic eye. Okay. You look worse than I remember. You there. Please. I don't want to help me. What's wrong? Water. It's stopped. It's so thirsty. Don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please. Hurry. I don't think there's any more than water. It looks like you had to eat. Just bones. Okay, so there are switches in this game, but um, I remember you have to pull down the switches in a certain order. As I said before, I'm going to mostly just show you how to progress and um, that's the wrong switch. And um, I'm going to like only do the extra scenes that I uh, think you should see because like either the heartfelt or they seem important. 
I mean, there might be some extra stuff that I won't know how to do. Um, but yeah. This game has a lot of secrets, in my opinion. It worked! So, the way you do it is, if you see, this one has like three things in the slot. The first one had one, the second one had two. That's how you know the order. I'm still very confused about this. And it's not saying anything about the horn going through the wall either. Um, but okay. I won't question it. I'm, um, okay. This bathroom's a lot shorter. They said Charlie was Foxley as cute, but that looked exactly like him. <sighs> and just like before, the pony's gone. Okay. Alright, is there anything this way? <laughs> Can't even go the other way, you have to follow the bloody footprints. No doors. They show your shadow in the darkness. Hi. I forgot what name I gave him. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. I really did not want to see a zipper on your face. I know you touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. I don't want to be friends with something like that. Okay. Man, you still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right after my mom died. I really think this building, there's something off about it. Dude, I know you're insistent about it, but I really don't think this place is haunted. I've been here for most of my life and I haven't seen any ghosts. But, hold on. My uh, friends are texting me, let me just tell them that, okay. But what? Well, we know each other for a while now. I have to show you something. Come on. I'm wondering if that was there or not, because I have a feeling that it was, but we just couldn't see because we couldn't go past Larry, but whatever. Ready? Oh my gosh, I forgot how adorable Sal looks in those earmuffs. It's so cute. I like how like he has pigtails and a weird hood, but his earmuffs are adorable. Well, how come you never told me about this? That's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Awesome. It also snowed today, so, I mean, it's great. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this on me before he disappeared. Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay. And the next day he was just gone. No, 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 nothing. And all of the things are still here. His clothes, his tools, his wallet, his driver's license. Everything. He just disappeared. Damn. I'm so sorry, Larry. I know how odd that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my parents loved each other. They hardly ever, they hardly even fall or anything. This isn't what it sounds like. My dad didn't leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He loved us. I believe you. So what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious, and I know you and Chug swear that the apartment are haunted, but I feel like there's more than one space for between generally and superstitious. 
Well, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told my people about this, and I, but, uh, but I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of course not. Day before I disappeared, I did something I'm not proud of. My parents got some firecrackers, and they told me so many times to wait for them, not to play with them on my own. But I just couldn't resist to. I let a few out back, and one of Jeff and Mr. Gibson opened one window to kill a pet rabbit. I didn't uh, meet Mr. Gibson, but um, I think she lives in, if you remember where I met um, Mr. Addison, on the other side there's two of the doors, I think she's the farthest door on the left. Oh man, that's rough. Yeah, so I ran to check on Mr. Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I feel horrible, though, that poor bunny. Anyways, as I was coming down the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He reached out and touched me. I got this super cold chill down my whole body. I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind. He was gone as quick as he came, just as the door opened. He cursed me because of what I did. He cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked up after that. My dad disappeared. My mom stopped talking for a while. I had to spend two weeks in jury for accidentally killing that rabbit. My bike got stolen. I missed so much school I had to take summer classes. It's been one bad thing after the next. Honestly, Lara, I feel that. Ever since then, horrible things have happened to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mr. Sanderson, everything. Whoa, hold on, man. Even if there's some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It is good advice. It's not all your fault. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I've ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but had a form of a man. And the eyes were the worst part. The deep red eyes that pierced right through you. You guys remember we saw that in his house when we uh, came down. Holy shit, what? I've seen it too. I've seen a human. No way, when? I swear I've seen it in a building. Just like you described. I bet it's linked to other ghosts too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Maybe there's some clues around that could help. We can try to find out more about the ghost, see if we can get to the bottom of this. Sure, why not? I've got nothing to lose. Okay, first of all, that's a cute picture of um, Lisa and uh, Larry's dad. There. Boxes, tapes. Oh, look at this picture. He has the same style mustache as that cop. Oh, that's strange. What is that? I found this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it reacts to supernatural activities, if you guys remember. When I showed you if you get the code, code right and you can put the batteries in the game, the Gear Boy, you get this uh, cartridge from the Lost and Found box. Now, you don't have to do that, but as I said, there's some gaps in the stories where secrets will fill in for you. <clears throat> it's one of the last pictures we took together not long before he disappeared. Hmm, I better keep looking. <laughs> they have like, does that mean I love you, but don't some people like do that at rock concerts? Some hand motion. Okay. Um. I think the only thing you need to uh, get is this. Some kind of weird small box in here. It looks like it's sealed shut. What's in the box? I have no idea, man. It belonged to my dad. Some kind of book. Go too fast. <laughs> looks like there's a piece missing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I never felt that before. You mind if I hold on to this? Nah, go ahead. Cool. No, I decided to do that. Let me go. No, if you get open. I, um, I don't. 
not remember how to get it open. Um, I think you find a piece somewhere about opening it, but I forget where. Um, so yeah, if you want, you should check out someone else's video. I know there's a few people that actually got it open, and I don't want to spoil what happens if you want to try it yourself. I'm going to look around and see what else I can find out. Okay, okay, sounds good. I'll sort of have to stay and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. That's ominous. Oh my, oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, look at that picture on the mirror. That's so cute of her. <laughs> Just notice that. I'm sure ask Maggie if she knows anything about the semen. I hope she'll come out today. Let me look, uh, first look at Lisa. Hey. Hey, Lisa, feeling any bad today? Oh, hi, Sally. I think she's gonna take the rest of it. Once I'm over this, I'll be right back. Right as rain. Which is good because there's so much work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. But don't worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty, and Larry has been so helpful too. I'll be just fine. Oh, you have a nice son. What's this? Oh, right. <laughs> saw a chest with the key. I know I shouldn't be um, slipping around. And look at that. That is just so cute. Um, looks like Lisa's giving Larry bunny ears. And yeah, this is a few days after Charlie was. Um, Arrested because uh, now it's like we're part of the family. Go see it now, okay. Okay, I said I'd be asking. Oh, hey, Chug. Chug, what are you up to? Hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't stop my Saturday without chocolate. I forgot what voice of the game people. Though they all might have sounded exactly the same, because they sound different to me, but then when I hear them back, they sound exactly the same. I hear ya. I like to start my waking off with video games and cartoons. <laughs> Did you see the new Rico modish wife episode? Is that, is that a reference to... But like another thing where there's like just copyright but it's like close to the real thing yeah that was great i love that show me too okay uh, okay so i said i'm going to megan so i think that's room five four five room five oh four all right i should call her up here so he, he can meet my friend. And then Megan, they don't have to believe that Addison's apartment are, all apartments are haunted. There are you there? I'm here, what's up? Can you come up to 504? Sure, I'm just talking medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while anyway, so I'll be right out. So what is it you want to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Damn, so these fifth floors have seen better days. Shh. What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend Larry. I don't think there's anything in here, Dad. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy, though I haven't been able to get her to come out in a while now. I hope she's okay. So you come up to this moldy bath and talk to dead girl? How often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm going to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. Real as this is, I believe you, okay? You're my best bud, and if this helps us at all with finding my dad, then I'm all for it. I never thought we'd be able to talk to you today. I just had this feeling. Dude, you know who she... She's no? <laughs> know who you should go talk 
with Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know. And he's also into supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh. I never expected that he would believe in that stuff. He always seems so... Normal? Rational? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs to make sure my mom's alright. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. If you guys remember, I didn't go see a lot of people in the first chapter because I went to the rooms that you need to go to. Um, Todd, I believe, is on the second floor, though. And he lives in 202. Yeah, it does. Hey, Sally Face. I don't know what voice to give Todd. <clears throat> so it took a minute to answer. What's a normal voice? I don't know. So it took me a minute to answer. I was wrapping up two of sex with Ashley. Have you two met? Hey, I'm Ash. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Sal likes Ash. You must be Sally Face. I heard so much about you. I, uh, y me? Y you have? Yeah, all good things. I swear, I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Me too. Uh, you too. Um, I mean, it's nice to meet you as well. Well, I'd love to stay and try more, but I have to get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work on algebra next week. Sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, I run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. You too. You alright, sir? I seem a bit anxious. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. Okay, so it brings you this way. Ashley's nice. Is she a freshman too? What is she like? Full name's Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman like us and, uh, overall a nice person. She has some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple of weeks. In exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. Her and her and her. She sounds like a great friend. Um, sure, I suppose so. You didn't come here to talk about Ashley, though, so what's up? Alright. <coughs> Sorry. I need your help. Thanks for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance to your explanation of the paranormal. <laughs> Let's make my voice feel weird. Especially, I have a suspicion that an apparition was clicked with us. Huh, really? Yeah, it does seem to be strange. Coincidence that Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could also be the water pipe that acts some sort of con con conductor for them. <laughs> Though this is not, this is the only speculation on my part. Stop, I, stop, I, I know you're smart, but don't use big words, they won't mess with me. Do you have the gear pipe comfort with you now? Yeah, perfect. Let's check out the bathroom. What do you usually do to call upon Megan's Does beer boy always light up when she's near? <clears throat> doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out, sometimes she doesn't. Okay, go ahead and try the same thing here so we can attempt to summon the spirit. Hello, is, is anyone here with us? We're not going to hurt you, we're friends. Hello, is anyone there? Thing is happening in the game isn't lighting up either. Hmm. I have an idea. Let me see that. I bet I can modify your gear board to help better to his stupid natural hotspot. Cool, sounds good to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device reception, and second, something to boost its electrical output. So, like an antenna and a battery pack? Sure, I'll be in my room when you're ready. <laughs> You could have just said that, Todd. <laughs> These are cute pictures. 
It's like Todd is only child. Well, I mean, I'm only child too. What am I saying? Um. Okay. So let's go into Todd's room. Oh, it's fish. Like a fish. That's Bob. He's okay, my friend. This is. I need more nature in my life too. Counterbalance all of this technology. Yes, they put the fish. Uh, will this work for power? Yes, the battery from your walkie talkie will perfectly. Good thing, Sally Face. Okay, and then I remember what you have to get for reception. I know what you're thinking, but how will I talk to Larry? Don't worry. Do not worry about a single thing. Oh, Chuck's still down here. Okay. Hey, Lair. Um, do you mind if I just... Hey, mind if I borrow the antenna from your scanner? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Thanks. You're a good friend. Okay. Okay. Hey. Got an antenna. Yeah, this will work perfectly. With the two components you received in my own equipment, I can adequately make the modifications to the gear boy I spoke of earlier. Give me a moment to get it <coughs> ready. Ow! Ah! Oh gosh! I'm sorry, that screech <laughs> like screeched so loud in my earbuds. <clears throat> okay, all set. Behold, the Super Gear Boy. Um, cool. Don't worry, you can still play games on it. Only being ghost hunting loads while the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worry for a second. However, I unfortunately need a few extra parts from your walkie-talkie and wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that is alright. There's not going to be so happy about that. It's okay, though, if it's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now for the best results. You'll need to hold the system out with the antenna fully extended. Do so. Press shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While splashing, press the odd button while that to produce a large electrical discharge. I think it's correct. The surge of electricity will have an am am ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Todd, you have to stop using these big words. Okay, I think I get this shifted. I suggest that we take it to the for, for a test from in my bathroom. Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold the super gear boy by pressing shift. Hmm, maybe I... <laughs> Look at Dad's face. It worked. Holy crap. Hello, what's the matter? I never thought it'd kill them. It's all my fault. No. Stacy, your daughter. Oh God, the fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's not a crime to fool your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say it, but I know better than that. I want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? We can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? What's keeping you? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No, no, no. What? What is it? He's here. Who, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go. I'm sorry. Oh. It's in the mirror. Todd, but are you okay? It's a fully formed, unconscious apparition. I never seen anything like that. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I was just dilated back. It's just one thing to read the paranormal and formula theories, and a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I have my field of excitement to say, so I'll stay here and do some research. 
I went to look in the history of Aston's apartment to see if I could find anything about past residents and about the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. Why you go do that? I'm gonna search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, and by the way, I know there's some extraneous static around the game cartridge. May want to check it out to make sure it's okay. I think it's, I think it's a game you unlock. Let me uh look at that. Oh, the Seeker Pro Adents. Hmm. Can you just tape a sticker that says Super with... Um, that game is optional. Um, I... I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I will tell you it will add some insight on, um, what's his name? Larry's dad, I believe? Alright, hold on, let me go here. Um, so what you're doing here is you're just checking out, um, hotspots in here. Something else here. Okay, I can't go in there. Oh, I think I can go here. Who is it? It's Sal from upstairs. Is that something you want? I just want to talk to you. Me? Oh, all right. Come in then. The door is open. <clears throat> Hello. Hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? So I will say, Miss Rogan Rosenberg is the only one that calls Sally a girl. Hey, Miss Rosenberg. I want to ask you. Wow. I was just. <laughs> I want to ask you a few things. If that's okay. Let's go away, child. I may not have much left time. It's all like that now. I, I said that in the wrong pieces. Yes, time all I have and even... I'm sorry. And even now it soon slip away from me. Or maybe I'll never have a grass on it. It's such a strange concept, isn't it? Time, sitting here alone, the mind can drift. Great deal, wondering what's beyond the veil gets to deepen these thoughts and the world makes less and less sense. Yes, time is an enigma. Oh, but listen to me rambling on. I'm sorry, dear Sally. You had something to ask? You know, let me show the reason why I came in here. Where'd your hair go? Oh my, what is that horrific device you have? It's, uh, uh, well, it's sort of hard to explain. You know, this should type of things you don't understand. But what do you understand? Alright, um, okay, I don't have to go to this person, but you should probably see. This is, uh, the woman's fat rabbit got killed. I think Mr. Gibson will kill me if I bother her again. Yeah, she's a crankily old woman. Uh, I think there might be a hot spot on one of these four. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> I just Oh, this is, wait, is this, oh, no. Um, what? <laughs> I gotta say, guys, I swear to God, I didn't click, um, I didn't click anything on that door, that just, <laughs> the sounds just started just by me walking in front of it. Okay, let's go one, two, three. Oh wait, I should go down to the basement. Favorite place, college student. Maybe I shouldn't follow them. Oh, hi Sal. What's you up to today? Hey David. Grab a champion. Oh well, they're in the wash still. Sarah was supposed to get them. 
but uh, we, we just got talking, and, you know, lost the time. I don't know what he's saying so hard time. See ya. See ya. Shark's place. Um, what was one? Is that a Shark's place? Oh yeah, Shark is down here. Okay, let me get in Larry. I think Larry has a few stuff here and there. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, I think, uh, I remember correctly. Is there a kitchen or some place? Because that's where I saw the red eye demon. I thought it sounds very dangerous. Okay. Um. So, who are you? Are you Jim Johnson? No. And then what? To sell to a man who ill at I don't know what you're saying. You're breaking up. I can't quite hear you. I. Well, I could have to time step red for and all yeah and remember the red ball. What do you mean? What are you? The two go net ye god sin in to go. The red ball. I did die. G. Girl. Ow. Just when I thought I was getting used to seeing ghosts, and that happens. <laughs> Whatever that was. My life is weird. Oh, I should probably go check in with Todd again and see if he found anything. It sounds like he's going to slip at any minute, and also it's snowing out, so it just seems like uh, you could easily slip off of it. I mean, I walked across a few wood bridges, and they were very slippery. Fine. Did you ever take that new Sanity Falls song? Yeah, man, you want to hear it? Yes. I love that. <laughs> okay, Larry, I'm gonna take that I am here. Still hear it. Oh, Lisa, I am so sorry. <laughs> I just forgot Lisa was probably trying to sleep and now I just made his son play as music outside the door. <laughs> I think I just did something extra. I think I just need to go to Larry's straight house and uh tape thing because I remember there's more symbols you can find but you know I just there's more hot spots. Toddy man It's strange. I can't find any reports on past murders. The only one that comes up is is our, uh is our friend Charlie. Look at this photo of him on the public record. He did not have hair like that. He had black hair. Nug shot Charlie Mansfield, age 41. While local murderer received light sentence. <laughs> the top corner says the interweb. Gets even weirder. 
There's no trace of any of the officers that were here the day Mr. Sanderson was killed, not even classified for researchers. It's as if they weren't here at all, or like they don't even exist. How is that possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I did find one interesting thing. A missing person case from 1987, Megan Holmes, age 7, lived in Addison apartment with her parents, Luke and Stacy. Looks like maybe a little friend downstairs. She must be the daughter that Greg from Bathroom is on his back. The story lines up right, so oh, here it gets weird again. There's an update to the record one day after the original was filed. Staying on the girl was found dead in Windigo Lake. That's a few miles south of here, along with her parents. Says that they've been fishing and found the river and drowned. Some kind of mudslide or something. Huh. I wonder if, like, the eyes of the demon, the ghost, have to do with anything. Like, that guy who was crying, he had, like, white out eyes. And Megan's eyes looked like they were just, like, wide and she hasn't blinked in a while or something. That's something her. Wait a second. I've seen the necklace before. I know I have. She's never wearing it when I talk to her, but I see it somewhere else. Since you haven't been able to summon her, you want to step a gear boy. Perhaps finding that necklace will help somehow. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's something she had a connection with when she was alive. Now I just need to remember where the hell I saw that thing. Honestly guys, I don't remember seeing it anywhere, but I know where to find it. Maybe if I like look around, I'll uh, I'll, I'll see what uh, um, but um, it's in the lost and found. Um, yeah, I don't see it here. I think you just have to make a nice guess. I knew I saw the ne that necklace somewhere. Now Larry will see Megan for sure. Okay, work your magic whenever you're ready. Megan, are you with us? This is my friend Larry. We have some questions to ask you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Larry's face. That face is so funny and adorable. Hi, sorry, guys. Holy fuck, Knuckles. That's not a nice word, Larry. <laughs> you have to forgive him, Megan. He's never seen a ghost before. It's okay. My daddy says his bad words sometimes, too. Why have you been there? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. I've been trying to reach you. I think when you're alive, you can't see the other side. The other side? Yeah, that's where we all live. It's just like this side, just a little different. I miss my mommy. She doesn't talk anymore. What about your dad? Daddy scares me now. He scares everyone here. He wasn't always like that. He used to be nice like mommy. What happened? I remember they had a fight, and then he was sad, and his sadness turned into angerness. I don't know. It's all blurry now. Were you fishing at like Windable? Huh? No, I've never been fishing before. My daddy went sometimes. Mr. Johnson. Wait, Jim Johnson? Yeah. How did you know that? That's my dad. Oh, I guess my dad's a friend. Hee <laughs> hee. Can you tell me where he is? Do you know anything else about him? Please, I need to know. I'm sorry you lost your daddy. I don't know where he is. Don't. No, Mr. Johnson, my daddy won't fish a lot. I just know it's like... I'm sorry. Hey, yes, where did you find that? Miss Johnson's in Boston with a lost and found box. My mommy gave me that necklace. She was scared. She said it would protect me from the evil in the world. Don't worry, mommy is now. She's in the bedroom, but she never listens to me anymore. I don't think she can hear me. Do you think she's... Uh oh, what? Daddy's coming. He doesn't want really to talk to people. I have to go. Bye bye. Wait, I. Shit. 
Yeah, they haven't seemed to stick around long enough. Well, we're going to get into that bedroom, and it's all boarded up. Can you get some tools for us? Actually, David borrowed my mom's crowbar and never gave back. Would you mind going and getting it from him? I've asked like three times now, and he always has some excuse. Maybe you have better luck. Sure, I'll head to the third floor and see what I can do. David's on the third floor. David, my man. What's up, Bubber? Do I bring a crowbar? I'd love to lend it to you, but uh, it's the only thing holding up my shelf right now. See? Now, nah, right now, see? Those kids next door in the 301, they're nice kids, but all they have does real loud parties sometimes. Shake the whole wall and my shelf falls right down. If you could talk them for me, get them a little quieter, then I could then use bar my the <laughs> Okay, that's awesome. Thanks, Dad. I'll do it myself, but I am a I a clean clothes. I can't talk and I just hate the whole body poopers just know. It's not a problem, I'll be right back. Jeez, yes. <laughs> I sounded like that fan when the phantom was trying to speak. Alright. Hey Sierra, what's you up to? Oh hey Sally, I was just com 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 completing an alternate activity for tonight's party. My friend and I usually like to do our own thing, but I'm having trouble narrowing it down. It's okay if I look over your list? Sure. Okay, so what you're supposed to do here is you have to pick things that are quiet. But you also have to make sure they're happy with it too. So yeah. <laughs> How about this? It's been a while since we've done a tournament. That's perfect choice for tonight. Hey. Yo, what's up, Sal? Hey, CJ. What you up to? Don't you need it for a party tonight? Mind if I have a look? Go for it, little dude. Okay, this seems good, but I don't think he likes this song. Is this okay? About this, huh? You know, there's something interesting about this one. It's unexpected. It's classy. I think it could work. And one more person. Hey Z, what's up? My name is Azaria? Did I say that right? Azia? I don't know. Hey Sarkis, I'm trying to choose a game for the party tonight. I got this little book games, but I don't know. Can I take a look? Be my guest. Okay. Um. How about this game? Hmm, you know, that reminds me of Great Store. That's a touch of nostalgia, would be great at this party. Would just be. Uh, could be just what this party needs. Thanks, Sal. I'm not touching anything. Yeah, it doesn't. The party should be much farther now. What's up, brother? Yeah, I a car by now. I worked out with the college students. We're going to have a much low-key party this time. Wow, the great news. Thanks for helping me. Sarah will be happy, too. Last time our wedding picture almost blew, blows up in pieces. I'm glad I could help. Right. Let me grab that clip off of you. Let's start with a second. Here you go, buddy. Take it. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Okay, hold on. I want to check my, uh, dad. I think he's out. I forget. Um, Gizmo, what are you watching? What's you watching, buddy? Okay, nice answer. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gizmo, buddy. I should put a ledger box in. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, never mind. Dad's working. Edward Shovel Hands. Prince Park. Vampire Hunters B. She lives. Sandy Falls. Oh, that's sad. Just see sad Sal Sal's hills on there. Okay. Where did you say to go? I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, I want to get into uh that boarded up room. Be able to pull these boards off with the crowbar. Where's your G mod? <laughs> Wait a second. It looks like she was more stabbed by the bed than. Hmm. Are you okay? Well, okay. This whole wall looks like they're running to another side. I can I put in front of seats, hold of no return. Or point of no return. Or whatever. Hello? Uh, Luke, can you hear me? Luke? I kinda liked you better, um, when you didn't look like that. <laughs> what the hell happened? What's that? Wait. What's that thing behind Larry? Was that there before? Or did he use that? Todd gave me one of his inventions. He said that there are actually a Kirill village in the of his game. Did you use that? I don't remember that being there last time. After I got it, I came upstairs right away to make sure you were okay. It's a good thing we did. That red-eyed creep that has been here for decades. That was before I was even born. I guess me, I'm not cursed after all. Yeah. Who knew I was finding out such a dark past? The living room was Charlie was freaky. Damn, this shit is nuts, dude. Well, I don't think we have to worry about the demon showing up anymore. Todd's thing seems to take care of it. Oh, what is it? No, that's great and all. I was just thinking. I guess since there's no curse, this all means that my dad, he just... Oh. Oh, I think that's so cute when it comes to how hugs up. I'm sorry, Sal. That's the time for the day. The guards are giving me the look. Wait, that was only part of the story. I hope we've got some honest insight for you today, especially with this being our last session and your trial is just a few days. I swear on my life, I told you nothing but the truth. Government, conspiracy, demons, ghosts, and some kind of magical video game system. Sal, these things don't exist. You really can't inspire me to believe you. Think about it from my perspective. It ends against you for what you did. Well, it is to be found. I know how it sounds, but I told you it's the truth. <laughs> Those guys look angry. Go to the treehouse, please. Go and see for yourself. You'll find all the proof you need. Oh, sure. Slam the doors. Oh, that's great. What a fucking psycho, eh? <laughs> that face, you know he's gonna do it just by looking at that face.
Graffiti. Floof. <laughs> it says floof. I like how Sally's hair bobs when he walks with Dr. E on his mustache does. Since we have photography of Larry's parents, nothing strange about it though. The filled with closed books, cassettes, something of importance. Few old amateur paintings, probably Larry's. Take those with you, I like them. Get them to sell, I went in sad to be able to look at a part of his old friend. Rusty tools and other various junk. Oh, there's absolutely nothing up here. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I just need to see for myself. It's always so convincing. The whole thing seemed off. Oh, I hate seeing this part. Dark and young. Whoa, whoa, what? Don't freak out, man. I need your help. We have to get Sal out of jail. This shit is so much deeper than we thought. Please. We have to get Sal out of here. Get Sal here. This. You, you can't be. Calm down, dude. You don't give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal didn't get here soon, then. Remember how I said those that ladder seemed dangerous, like someone going to sleep? I mean, he didn't slip, he fell out of the treehouse, but you know what I mean. Shit. God damn. I mean, I know his head, his blood has replied and it killed him, but that must be something was his bone poke out of his leg. Oh, um, I think, uh, this is the beginning of the third chapter. Okay, um. So, um, yeah, that was the end of the... Can I do anything here? Okay, I'll get past this part, then, um, I'll end the video. Is this real? Am I dreaming? White room at N F fifth. I can't speak backwards, but um, forwards. This says white room. The in me find. So find me in the. I don't think white room is backwards though. So. Okay, so. Find me in the white room. Don't forget what I told you. Are this to place this of not must you, but you must not speak of this place to others. I don't know what the rest is. Okay, I can't memorize all this. The one ye ni who ye live owls dead now. What should I do? Bruh. Huh? Hmm. Run. Run! God. Okay. Um, now, you can actually do something with these, but I have big anxiety when something was chasing me, and I think once I did succeed and put them in the position, but it didn't do anything for me, it might do something, but I don't... Uh, 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 uh. Okay. There we go. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I heard something. I feel like, I feel like at my house is haunted. Um, I'll I'll see you guys later.
can't 